Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how to create a scheduler in webmother.io integration dot platform. So in order to do that, I'll just go to my, my webmother dot io platform. In the project, I'll just click a new project and I'll just call this project as a scheduler demo. And then I'll just click create. And inside that, I'll just click workflow. I'll call this also scheduler workflow. So for example, uh, any of your flow you wanted to automatically invoke in a specific time, then what you can do is you can configure some schedule at your webmother.io integration platform. So that is what we are going to try now. So you have a start button and you have end button. So this is the button where you can set some trigger. So you just double click it and you'll be able to see what are the different trigger you can create it. Okay. So there is something called polling trigger, which will be there in a clock symbol. So one of the polling trigger only we are going to use it now. So whatever we are going to use it something called clock. Okay. So you search with clock and it will have a clock icon and I'll just click that and I'll just click next. And when you say you wanted to run as a schedule and there are seven different trigger types are there. If you see, I wanted to run only once. I wanted to repeat every few minutes. I wanted to run daily in specific time, right? So those kind of different, different schedule you can create it. For this demo, I'll just create once, uh, once option. And then I'll say my time is 12.26 and I wanted to run this in a 12.27, okay? And then I'll say my time is, uh, the time zone I'll select, which is Singapore. I have selected it and I have clicked done now. And this schedule will run. Uh, so meanwhile, right, I wanted to add some logger So I'll try to add that now. It's loading. This page is loading. And also I'll try to save it now. And already 12.27. So anyway, I have to change my timing uh, so that I can show the test result for you now. And when I save, it's saying it's invalid because there is no start and end, right? So it's failing. So I'll just, what I'll do, I'll do search logger. I'll close this one. Uh, this page is not loading properly. I'll click connector again and I'll remove this one and there are many tab right so mainly whatever we are looking for it's under the IO integration connector only which is not loading right now I'll just go back and then uh, save and exit and it will not save so maybe you know I'll just drag and drop this one so that there will be a proper start and end So invalid connection it's saying because there is nothing in between. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, we can recreate it and I'll just go with exit without saving. And this is the workflow we are working on, right? So I'll just edit this one and I'll say scheduler workflow. Scheduler workflow. I think there's some kind of network glitch, I think. So that's why uh, in between it's not, the connectors are not loading properly. So now once it's loaded, right, what I'll do? I'll just uh, configure the remaining. So as of now, whatever we configure, it's only the clock trigger and which we have set it with once option. Okay. And this timing, I need to change it. As of now, I'll just give it as a 30 minute only. And it's updated successfully. Here, a lot of connectors are available. There, I'm going to add only the logger for now. I'll drag and drop logger. And I'll just close this one. And logger, I'm going to set this as a some sample value. I'll just say scheduler invoked. Okay. So whenever the the clock is running, this particular message is supposed to come. And I'll just click set. And uh, this is my input. And I'll just click done. And now it's 12.29. So 12.30 it will run. So before that, I'll try to uh, keep this. Workflow saved. Okay. So I'll just drag and drop this one to our stop button. So now this is complete. I'll save this one. Okay. So now I'm not going to run this one. Instead, uh, we are going to wait and see this particular workflow is getting kicked off automatically at 1230 because that is the time I, which I have set it. Meanwhile, I'll just expand this execution history as well. And uh, you can move this one up as well because when it runs, you'll be able to see this animation where 
each icon right or there you will be able to see some blue color animated icon okay so now 12:30. so now this scheduler is supposed to run see here there is a blinking here and the data is coming here and data is reaching here which means if you see logger see it's saying scheduler got invoked and uh, this is the action got invoked and you will be able to see how much overall it took right each steps almost took four millisecond three millisecond and one millisecond and there's a split for the particular time as well so this way you can see this is 8 30 pst which is equal to my time 12 30 now in singapore uh, so we are able to see that particular workflow is getting executed automatically based on the schedule so this is the way we have to execute our workflow using a clock trigger okay so now we have seen clock trigger i'll save this and exit so that you know whatever the changes we have done the workflow will get saved thank you